Hi all, Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, we'll take a look at Dynamic Content Plugins File Browser Widget. As the name suggests, it lets you list out basically any file on your website or any kinds of files on your website. So this is how it works. So let's say I just composed a new post. I'll just click on Add New. I'll compose the post in Gutenberg. I'll just call it All My Files. Doesn't matter what you call it. Let's set a featured image. I'll click on document. I'll go to featured image. Let's set a featured image to this. This. You can type any content or choose any content. I'll just click on edit with Elementor. And it will take us to the Elementor interface where we can actually list out all our files. And it created a new post and it applied that single post design using my template. I'll click on settings. I'll change the page layout to Elementor Canvas so that we just have the Elementor content but not the post content coming from Gutenberg. You can actually use the post content itself. I'll remove this widget. So I'll search for File Browser and it's this one by Dynamic Content Plugin. You can also scroll through. I'll just click and drag it and you have various options. By default, it lets you list out all the files within your media library. So if I pick this, all the files within this folder will be listed out. So this is essentially your media library and everything that's stored in your media library is listed by default. You can pick it from the drop down menu and it's in the uploads folder. And if you're wondering about the folder structure, if you have a file client, so if you have an FTP connected to your website or if you're on cPanel, you can use the file browser provided by the cPanel. This is a local install. I'll just go to my local install and I'll check out all the files. It will take me to my website and I can go to app, public. So this is where I have all my files. And you can see within WP content, we have plugins, themes, uploads. So basically the default option lists out the uploads folder. So within this, you can see that I have four subfolders and that's what it's listing out. And if I pick this as the root folder, you can list out files within that folder. So if I pick 2020 folder and if I pick four, it'll list out all the files within the four subfolder, which are basically these. The same thing with Elementor. So Elementor created an uploads folder. So if I pick Elementor from here, it'll list out all the files within Elementor. And you can see that there. And they need not be images. They can be any files. They can be CSS, JavaScript. They can be JSON files. Basically any files, all of them will be listed out. You can set private access. So you can set files to particular roles such as admin or author or whatever you can let him show the file title I'll just pick 2020 from here I'll pick one of these so that it's easier to see what's being listed out I'll choose the four subfolder it's showing me some images now I don't see the preview here but if you want you can pick the preview from here so you can click on this setting that will show you the thumbnail for images. You can enable quick search form so you can search anything from here. And it will work on the front end so don't worry about that. You can also enable metadata information and it lists out preview for few files. You can see that from there. So you can also choose the file extension to be shown. So if it's PNG, if it's JPEG, all the file extensions will be shown. You can show the file size. It will show how long the file is, how big the file is. And you can add a download counter. Now, technically it says that this is a download counter, but it's actually a view counter. So it basically shows you the number of views which are which you get on this particular page or on this particular file. I'll show you that in a bit. You can also use a description. If you don't want, you can do that. 
you can also set a custom file you can choose to hide some files so based on what you want to hide or show you can pick these options so we just listed out using the default uploads option right we'll publish this now i'll go to my dashboard and it's all my files post right so i'll just click on all posts I'll click on view to get a front end preview of the post that we created and here's the file so I can search here so basically it lists out all the files so if I type 150 it will show me everything that has 150 in it so something of that sort so that's the quick search file and these are the files list being listed out. Now what if you don't want to just list out the files within the media library but basically you want to list out all other files right. So you can do that too. You just need to know the file structure of your project and you can basically list out any files on your site. So let's say I just want to list out WP content files. Maybe I just want to list out the plugins files for some reason. Let's say I just want to list out the CSS files. You just need to get the path of the file. Since I'm on local install, you can simply right click and I can simply click on get info. You can have the similar option on your site. So starting from the public, so starting from WP content, you need to copy the path. I'll copy the path copy and if you want to list out those files you can pick custom from here and simply paste the path and it doesn't need the full path we just need everything from WP content so I'll remove everything before that so starting from WP content it will go to plugins folder it will go to Elementor and within assets now if you want to just list out the CSS files for some reason just enter the path for the CSS and it lists out all the CSS files generated by Elementor. If you want to list out the templates within these which are basically here, I'll just type the name of the folder. You can get the folder name from the file browser right within your cPanel you'll have that on your actual install. You can basically list out any file all you need is the path so starting from the WP content at the core level so at public level you have basically all of your files with WP admin WP content and stuff like that so you just need the path of the file and you just need to paste the path of the file and all the files within the path will be listed out just like that so that's either by uploading or choosing from the media library or by choosing a custom path simply paste the path and it will list out all the files they can be images they can be json files they can be basically any files on your server you can list them out just paste the path and select all the options now you have something called media library so when you pick this you have an option either to pick from custom fields or you can simply pick media files just like that so you can choose to list out the files that you really want so I can pick this file, I can pick maybe this one as well. So those three files will be listed. So here it's just manual. If you pick media library, it lets you pick all the files from your media library. You can pick thumbnail for your images. You can enable quick search or not. You can enable metadata info and that will show the thumbnails. And you can choose the file extension, file size and all that stuff right all the regular stuff so that's media library it lets you pick the files that are already uploaded to your media library and this is a taxonomy so if you create a custom taxonomy to organize your media files you can pick that and pick the taxonomy as of now I don't have any such file so this option won't work for now you can also pick post medias so when you pick this it will show you the files uploaded 
from the current post so if I click this click on choose image and it's not media files so if I select another file from here let's say I select this that file will also be shown so all the files which are uploaded to the current post will be shown here I'll update this as of now this is not aware of the newly uploaded file so if I refresh that it will show us that even that file is also uploaded to the current post or from the current post and just like that we uploaded that file and even that file <coughs> is listed in this so essentially and when I click on it it opens up that light box so essentially when you pick post medias it is basically showing you all the files uploaded from the current post so when you're composing a new post and you upload files from within so you can choose featured image or this is particularly for uploading files and not the files which are chosen from media library if you want to choose files from media library you pick this one if you want files which are uploaded so if you just want to list out all the files which are uploaded you just choose this if you have a custom taxonomy and this is a csv format which you really won't use if you want to list out some lists of things or something of that sort you can pick those but mostly you'll be using uploads or the custom folder where you'll actually store all your files now when you click on this it opens up the light box and even that will be counted as a view so if i click on the widget and if i enable metadata download counter as of now it's not showing us anything because we're in the elementor interface I'll just click on the preview changes button so that will take us to the front end preview and if I click on this let's refresh and that will show as a single view you see that right so if I click that so it's more of a view than a download and the counter is uploaded or updated for the next visitor not for you because this is the current view and as I reload the page it shows that two is the downloads but it rather showed me instead of me having to download the file so that's the file browser in a nutshell that's how it works so it has various options to list out basically files from anywhere on your site it's really handy you can use this for maybe a download kind of sites maybe where you want your users to download stuff right you can have all these options so even if he clicks on the image it will show him as a download you can show him a preview you can hide some files based on the roles and all that this is the file browser of dynamic content plugin this video is brought to you by the folks behind dynamic content plugin if you want me to make more videos like this let me know in the comments down below we have already covered quite a lot of the dynamic content plugin that's it for now i'll catch you in the next one Check out dynamic content plugin playlist for more videos like this for each and everything about dynamic content plugin. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.